right, good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, May 9th, or excuse me, May 10th. It's 9.06 a.m. There were some economic announcements. Uh, there are also some uh, speeches going on right now. So there's been a lot of activity over the last hour or so, uh, which is why I wanted to delay this a bit. You're uh, looking at the daily bar here. Remember, we're looking at this trading lane, pushing the market higher. We've got a long-term trend move to the upside. Mid-term trend is also up. Short-term trend uh, is still sideways. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. What we're looking at here uh, is the flag pattern, which has been forming up over the, the last couple of weeks. Uh, here's the bottom of it. And you can see this channel pushing to the downside is is getting right back into uh, this old support zone. If you remember, uh, we've been looking at this. There's the high from January. Here's the high uh, from the beginning of December. The market is once again sitting right here at the bottom end of the support region. So we're, we're also looking at a double bottom possibility. Uh, so we've got a trade that's setting up right as we speak. Let's go ahead and zoom into the four-hour bar. Uh, you can see that the, the momentum is starting to build on the downside, though. So we're going to have to be careful here uh, that we're not getting in front of uh, some increased momentum to the downside. Anytime you see these big momentum kind of bars in the marketplace, you've got to take notice. Uh, this prior four-hour bar, though, you can see that it, the, the market did push up off of the low. You can see here's the low of the bar. Uh, here's where it closed. So... Uh, you know, you've got you've got some distance between these two points, indicating that there's still some buying going on down here in support, which is you know that's a good thing. We need to keep in mind that uh, the market might be just uh, giving us a, a spike reversal down here. If we go down to the hourly now, uh, you can see that uh, these bars have a little bit more momentum. You can see at first uh, there was quite a bit of support here. You can see the market pushed into this area, closed up pushed down, closed way up actually, uh, even over the close of the prior bar, pushed up here, bouncing up to nearly the top end here of resistance before coming back down. This was again on some news. So there was, there was some news that came out here as well as some news that came out in this area here, both of which pushing uh, the British pound around. Uh, so if, we, if, we're, if we're not careful though, we can get sucked into all this enthusiasm. Right now, we're looking at a double bottom. Let me go ahead and uh, duplicate this line. There we go. So you can see here that the market is hesitating at this point. Uh, however, you can see that the three-bar reversal is pretty distant, uh, meaning there's, there's a lot of momentum pushing down. If we go down all the way to the 15-minute bar here, let me let it refresh, you can see that once we let this 15-minute bar close, we're going to count back one, two, three. Look at how high this three-bar reversal is going to be before we can enter. Remember, the three-bar reversal is designed uh, to get us in on a consolidation. So we need to see the market consolidate just like uh, this area here would have been an ideal three-bar reversal. Uh, but we need to see this consolidation before we can get in. That's the whole purpose and point of using the three-bar reversal. So we do have a potential long um, going to have to wait to see how it forms up. I don't really have uh, a target area, although I'm expecting that the, the reversal will probably break out here above 98.60 on the long side. I'm not really looking to go short around here on a break of this double bottom uh, just because uh, you know that's that in my book is a pretty risky trade. So uh, I'm waiting to see if this thing can hold here, get a reversal back up to the upside. I'm looking for a profit target here at about the 99.20, 99.25 area.